Hello, I'm Nick. I make instructional videos on a variety of topics, most of which I'm not an expert at, but we usually figure it out together anyways. This video is no different because I'm going to be showing you how to chemically strip the anodizing from titanium radio control car parts using nothing but an inexpensive household chemical. I needed a set of titanium turnbuckles, but my local hobby shop only had this set in green. That's clearly not going to work. It's not the look I'm going for, and it's surely going to have a negative effect on my driving performance. I bought them anyway, figuring there has to be a way to strip the anodizing off. How hard could it be? There are two ways you could strip anodizing off of titanium. Mechanically, which would be to use an abrasive, or you can chemically remove the oxide layer using a product called Wink Rust Stain Remover. I bought this 16 ounce bottle at Ace Hardware for $10. Now this is some pretty serious stuff. It's a concentration of hydrofluoric acid, which is really bad news. You definitely don't want this splashing on your skin, so gloves and safety glasses are an absolute must. You'll also probably want to do this in a well-ventilated area. Other materials I need are a plastic container to submerge my parts, another container with a water and baking soda solution, and it's always good to have some paper towels handy. First, I'm going to add some acid to the container. Be sure to add enough to completely submerge the parts, but not so much that it's wasteful. Now I'm going to add my turnbuckles, and you'll see some bubbling start to form in a few seconds. This is being recorded in real time, so you can see how quickly this actually works. Just letting it sit in the acid for about 30 seconds to a minute is enough to completely remove the anodizing. Once all of the anodizing is removed, it's time to take the turnbuckles out of the acid and add them to the baking soda solution to neutralize it. And that's it. You're left with this dull gray finish on the titanium that can be left as is or it can be polished. I'm going to go ahead and polish them with my Dremel and some polishing rouge. Of course this part of the video is sped up. In reality it took about 15 to 20 minutes to polish all six turnbuckles.
I actually was able to reuse this little cup of rust stain remover on my kitchen sink, which had a couple of rust stains from accidentally leaving a cast iron pan in there for a couple of days. The used rust stain remover still took care of it without any issues whatsoever. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. This is my first instructional video in a little while, but I'm really excited to get back into it, so I'll see you next time.